Hi everyone, it's Crafting Vicky here and I'm here to share with you the gift that I made for my little niece, uh, Stella. You saw me uh, make the, um, well actually alter the uh, pirate chest and uh, for my little nephew Sydney. And for my little niece, she loves to uh, play um, getting mail and stuff like that. So the idea was to make her a little mailbox and I thought initially that I was going to uh, make something out of cardboard or whatever and then I thought about it and I thought about it and figured that it might not withstand a three-year-old playing um, rough with it and I remembered that I have in my backyard a little uh, box uh, that looked like a mailbox and that was for my um, clothespin uh, so I figured I would use that and I found one at uh, the hardware store and it was only 10 bucks so it's really uh, cheap and it's really sturdy and it's gonna last and I'm gonna put inside it um, I've already wrapped a bunch of uh, cards and little stickers princess stickers and all kinds of stuff like that and it's gonna go in the box and the box is gonna be wrapped so it should be fun for her to um, to open up but I don't want to leave, leave it just like this it has to be kind of personalized so I thought about it and figured I would use this cute little uh, duct tape um, to uh, decorate it. So let's try this out. And hopefully I'm not going to be making a mess. The good thing is because it's plastic, it's not so bad. So let's do this. And of course I'm going not straight so it's going to look stupid uh, me and measures I hate measuring I really do so I don't want to be I prefer eyeballing it I don't know about you guys but that's just how I roll I don't like taking time and measurements and measure twice and stuff like that and I should but I just don't like it so and I'm sure that she's gonna like it anyway because it's gonna have her name on it and it has some girly colors and the sides is, doesn't matter that much that there's a little bit of some wrinkles and stuff I don't think uh, it will make that much of a difference Let's see if I can straighten them out a bit okay so that's this I think it's looking already better and in the on the top there's a um, clothespin and I don't want that to show so I'm gonna cover it up with some more duct tape so that it looks better so let's do this and you're gonna finish it off in the underneath so, like so and I wonder if I can nah it doesn't match it's weird the pattern doesn't oh unless maybe if I went like this yeah I guess so That the, the seam doesn't show as much. So let's cut this. Tuck it underneath. And let's do one last row. This is not going to work too good. have to cut here along the edge which was not my plan but hey we just have to roll with what it is so let's do it like this and 
I just love duct tape. And they have such pretty colors now. Much different from uh, before when they had just the, the regular one that you would actually use to uh, to do work with and uh, hard work or whatever. So then I'm gonna cut in the back excess. And here it is. I think it's looking already pretty cute. And now I want to personalize it. So I'm gonna put her name. And I've got these um, American Craft Letters. Um, of course, it's not gonna stick all that well. So I've got my, uh, my um, E6000 glue. And that's what I'm gonna put on the letters to make sure that they stick and they don't move. But I think before I do that, I'm just gonna try spelling her name out and see where I want to place the letters before I glue them permanently and make a mess of it like I would usually do. So let's try this out. So still, where's the L's? There they are. Here. So I think that's gonna look cute. So let's put some uh, glue behind the letters to make sure that they stay put. I love that glue. The only bad thing to it is it's hard to remove afterwards because it really glues. But isn't that kind of the point, eh? Probably my issue with it is because I put it all over my hands and then it's harder to remove. I've been wanting this year to try to make stuff that uh, wasn't so commercial and was more homemade. So this is my uh, my take of this. Of course, the box is still purchased, but the idea and the, and the use for it is homemade, as is the embellishing of it. So I think that's a count. What do you think, guys? Does it still count? Does it still count as being kind of homemade? Or am I cheating myself in thinking that it does and it really doesn't? I will be looking forward to uh, reading your comments on that. <laughs> okay, so it's all glued down. Now, of course, I can't do anything with it for the moment because it's gonna need to have some time to, um, to really uh, glue itself and, and uh, make sure that it's uh, move but here it is my little uh, mailbox for my little niece I guess I should remove that too <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna col collaborate or not with me for that yeah maybe I should have just left it oh well I'm, I probably will end up fiddling with it anyway so that's it Hope you like this and it inspires you. And looking forward to reading if uh, this is kind of homemade or if I'm totally cheating myself in believing that it is. See you soon. Bye, guys.